hi and hello guys so this is a really a very quick video about uh, recent updates to the gss pipe project so people have been uh, asking for this spotify playback for quite some time so the issue with the spotify playback is uh, spotify stopped supporting uh, the python api so right now all they have is just the web api using which you can just uh, play the spotify uh, music or tracks on a web browser so the issue here is uh, raspberry pi uh, cannot play drm content on the web browser so even if you try using any other plugin to change the type of the browser or mimic a browser there is uh, some issues in playing back uh, the drm content so what i have actually done uh, to mitigate this is so i'm getting your uh, playlist details using the spotify uh, api and then um, using the track details i'm fetching the same tracks same set of tracks from the youtube using the youtube data api so i'm already aware of a plugin in mpsyt so that's just a plugin you can uh, it's a one line uh, code using which you can um, try and play back your spotify playlist so this custom program what i have uh, written is far more accurate than the mpsyt plugin so if you try uh, you will realize that so to get started with the uh, spotify playback feature first of course you need to register yourself uh, with an spotify developer account once you are done with that you will get your uh, client secret and client id so talking about that so i have also made one more change in the structure of the project so right now what i have done is i have introduced a file called config.yaml so previously uh, if you have used gsist pi you would uh, remember uh, entering all your credentials individually in actions.py and then the main.py and then the push button.py so now what you actually do is you enter all your credentials in this one file and i have already written the codes to fetch the details from this into the respective uh, scripts so don't bother about editing actions.py uh, main.py and the push button.py all you need to do is enter your uh, details in this config.yaml file so this also makes the updation process uh, pretty much easy so you make a copy of this config.yaml file store it onto some other folder pull the updated git and then just replace the config.yaml uh, file and you should be good to go so this makes the updation process much uh, faster and easier so these are the two updates that i have pushed out today so this update the config.yml update is just to make the whole thing more user friendly okay so that is pretty much it i hope you enjoy the uh, spotify feature uh, you may not get the same results as you get from the original google home so that is pretty much it i just wanted to convey this updation okay see you guys in the next video take care and bye bye